Oh, that warmed my heart. I said, ooh, you didn't come to play. You came to spend money, okay? You bad like that, you know. But I'm the one that eats your pain. I know. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Deja Jordan for those of you that are new and for my returning Kim folks. What's up? So of course you guys can tell by the title in this video we are going to be doing a little makeup and chit chat. And guess what y'all? Your girl is back out here dating, okay? We'll get into all of that. But before we get into all of that, y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Also hit that little bell on the side so that you can keep up with your girl. Now let's go ahead and get into the makeup, okay? Okay, so as you guys can tell by the thumbnail, we're not doing anything crazy when it comes to the makeup. So we are going to start off with the face, which I like doing that in general anyway. To prime my face, I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And then I'm just going to use my fingers and blend it out. Or not blend, but... <laughs> massaging into the skin okay so yeah like i was telling you on the intro your girl is back out here at dating okay now y'all know that when we were out here dating before it was ghetto if you know you know your girl has been through the worst when it has come to online dating i had somebody that was like the worst movie date ever i went through someone in a fake teeth okay Y'all, if you, if you know, you know, but if you don't know, I will go ahead and link the videos down below in the description box because we definitely did it as a makeup and chit chat. Okay, so y'all make sure y'all catch it. But um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm back on. I am back on. And y'all, I don't even know if the dating pool has changed since I was last there. Real quick, the foundation that we just used was the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade Cappuccino 340. Y'all know I will link this in the, in the description box down below for you. And now we're going to go in with my MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Concealer. Y'all, this concealer is the bomb. It's lightweight. It's lightweight and a little bit truly goes a long way. Full coverage, real bomb, real bomb. Now this, this is the the summer concealer, okay? This is that everyday wear concealer, 24 hour concealer, okay? MAC never misses, love it. Anyways, like I was saying about the date before I got distracted with the makeup products, I'm not sure if the dating pool has changed i mean like the prospects are definitely looking a lot better from when i was on there you know um some time ago but it's still filled with the same type of personalities a little bit but what i will say y'all is that your girl did come across somebody and she did go on a date but she has a filter through a couple of other ones first actually get a, a little decent one that was worth my time actually even stepping out of the house because y'all know your girl is a homebody. But anyways, let me go ahead and tell y'all about the date. Now, after the last movie date that I had, I never thought that I would be going on a date again. Well, okay, your girl decided to give it another chance. And I think that I decided to give it another chance just because like, you know, the vibe just seemed different, you know? So I'm like, okay. And it just, you know, seemed like, he gonna be the type to keep you know his stuff his stuff my stuff my stuff you know and if you don't know what i'm talking about go and watch the last makeup and chit chat from when i went on my last movie date that will tell you everything that you need to know okay but like i was saying okay y'all your girl decided to go on another movie date and this time we went to go and see bad boys y'all first of all bad boys really good movie i will definitely say it is a 10 out of 10 the entire time i was cracking up but it was also you know very heartfelt but it gave that good action you know and it was nice to see will smith you know he looked happy he looked good i swear the man looks like he just does not age or he does i guess like fine wine but loved it okay love seeing him but anyways you guys the movie was nice all right like i said 10 out of 10 the, the vibe was cool now before we even went to the movie theater we went to the battery and we just walked around the battery now one thing about me is i don't get out much 
out here in Georgia. One, because I don't know a whole lot of people to step out with. And two, I always have my kids. So taking my kids to the battery and hanging out down there has just never been something that was on my mind. But you know, anyways, it's nice to get out, do adult things and experience things. So yeah, y'all, we went to the battery. It was nice. He showed me around. We were gonna get a drink, but decided not to. Um, just because I don't really drink and I just don't be, I'm not trying to waste this man's money. You know, like that's, that's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to get stuff that I'm just not going to eat or not going to drink. I'm not going to do that. But anyways, you guys, we walked around and stuff like that. It was really nice. Um, just vibe, talk, found out things about each other. It was nice. It was a really cool first date. I will say the best part about the first date is homeboy ordered his own drink okay when he sold the the guy at the register two drinks okay not one but two. Oh, that warmed my heart i said oh you didn't come to play you came to spend money okay because two drinks the last dude had me messed up watch the other video to know why okay he had me messed up but this time I was like, okay, we can definitely go on a second movie day if that's what it comes down to. Let's just see how this all ends up playing out. Like, it was really nice, okay? So, yeah, that's all I really got. That's how the movie day went. <laughs> the guy is nice. At this point, it would be completely up to him. Um, I'm open to a second day, but it would, be, it would be up to him to have to like ask me. I'm not just gonna assume like he likes me. We just gonna have to see like where the vibe is. Cause at the end of the day, like we two work in adults and stuff like that. And um, if I didn't mention it, I am on Hinge. I know the last time I was dating, I was on black and black was a no go for me, but I do know people that are still on black. Hinge just, Hinge just, you know, I don't know. It was a step up from black, I think. But what I need to find out is uh, why the dudes be going for older women, y'all young dudes, like in y'all's 20s, 24, around there. Why do y'all, why do y'all go for older women? Why do they go for older women? I don't know. Or I have a 21 year old sister dating someone around her age is crazy. I just feel like, I just feel like if you like me, you're going to like her. So I might as well just pass you off to her. You know, like that's, that's where my mind goes, but that's probably not where it should go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dating is weird, but why do y'all like dating older women? Why do these young boys like dating older women? And it's like, y'all seem to like it with, with, with kids too. What's the, what is it? What is it? I don't know. But the guy that we went on a date with was definitely around our age, thank God, because I wasn't having any luck with finding anybody around my age. I just felt like I was robbing the cradle. <laughs> Like with everybody, I was like, dang, I just cannot swipe on you. I just feel like I need to have a conversation with your mama and ask her if it's okay for me to, you know, I don't know. I just started thinking different now that I got sons. It's kind of like, hmm, how would I feel if somebody around my age was dating someone around my son's age that's age? You know? Hmm. I don't know. But it ain't... It it ain't going to go nowhere with these little 20-something girls. But y'all know, for the setting powder, I went in with the OS setting powder by Patrick Starr. You guys, this is my favorite setting powder. I will say that. And now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Coconati. And we are just going to do all of our contouring on this. So, you guys, since, um, you know, I had like a little good dating experience, on hinge this time around i don't know i just feel like and this is just me because i'm single like i'm just not settling so someone's gonna really have to like like show me something that just feels like i can't find nowhere else or in anybody else you know for me to like really like take them serious because you know people like to play people like things just for the moment or they just like you know let me just have someone that i can go out with for the summer or whatever i don't know but i kind of know what i'm looking for i definitely do want to give you guys some tips on dating online um if you're a homebody like me if you're someone that you want to try dating online i do recommend it honestly i definitely recommend dating online it can be fun um you know it's still dating and you still met them online i mean like you even have to take precaution when you're meeting someone in person but still you know so um, the first tip that I would really give you guys is just choose a platform. Black didn't work for me. I didn't like any of the guys that were on black. They all seem to really be the same. So I hopped on Hinge and Hinge seems to work. So yeah, 
try it out my single ladies try it out be safe be careful but try it out okay um, another thing, when y'all get on these dating websites and stuff, make sure you have a good profile. I mean, you don't have to like lay out all of your business and everything about you and stuff like that. But definitely, you know, have some nice pictures. Like, y'all know I do makeup and stuff like that. So, of course, like 90, ooh, not even 91% of the time, your girl is getting dressed up, got makeup. But the other 99, she's not. But that 1%, of course, I'm going to take a photo and you know, and that's typically the, the picture that I'm going to use. But what I'm finding out is a lot of guys won't even really click on my profile because they think that I'm either AI or my photos are not real or, you know, like just something. And that is crazy. So I switched it up and I posted a lot of photos of me actually with no makeup on, you know, like still dressed up and, you know, doing me, but no makeup. And I'm finding out the guys like that. You know, I even had one guy was all like, yo, I wasn't going to swipe right on you because all your photos just look too good to be true. I was like, okay, well, wait a minute, baby, let me go switch it out. <laughs> That's all you had to say. You said, let me see you with no makeup. I got you. I look good. But you know, that's just me. So that is um, a tip that I have for you guys. Another tip is to like low key stay persistent. The first couple of guys that you swipe right on, a lot of them don't even be responding, you know? And I'm not the type to be reaching out. If you can't show me that you can reach out first, baby i'm not seeing where you can lead okay so i take everything as a sign i'm like okay 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 <laughs> so yeah ladies stay positive because i'm telling you y'all i was on there in the first few swipes i was like uh-uh i'm logging off and then i kept going and then i was like okay and someone's like he and chad to get to know me it was all like all right let's see what she likes so we can you know kind of help her out when it comes to the swipes and it did it did I think I like my blush up there, y'all. I was trying something new. Yeah, <laughs> messing around and liking what I'm doing, okay? One thing that I like about Hinge is that it kind of like puts us ladies in control. Like we can do the swiping, which I like. Obviously guys are doing the swiping too, but um, it gives us the option to actually like respawn first. And you know, I don't know. I just feel like Hinge is a good platform for women. Like we've got the control on hinge and i like that you know if i don't like what you're talking about unmatch so another thing when it comes to online dating look at these people's profiles don't just look at pics look at profiles look at profiles actually read what they talking about a little bit um you know women we're thorough anyway so we don't do that anyway but most of the time a guy will show whether or not he's gonna be an f boy or not just based off of his profile just how he has it set up so yeah like take that serious look at that and another thing that i'm gonna go ahead and say know your deal breakers okay know your deal breakers know what you will settle for and don't just be going on a date just to go on a date because some of these dudes a lot of these dudes most of these dudes ain't really about nothing so know where the conversation can possibly go where the vibe is you know before you even maybe even give your phone number out i don't know i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say but i hope you do let me know in the comments if y'all get where i'm going if y'all know what i'm trying to say <laughs> I just need to know if y'all feel real quick you guys I know I just used a whole lot of products so let me just go ahead and run through them real quick and let y'all know what I use um for the blush I use the Laura Geller Laura Geller baked blush and brighten in the shade Tropic Hues I like it I've literally had this for years been using this like I said I've had it for years really good I like it because it's just natural is that it gives you that summer brighten that you need you know real good um, for the blush, I used I used the Sephora um, Duo Blush in the shade Tiger Lily. Y'all, this is my jam. I've literally had this for years as well. This is like my summer, winter, and fall shade. I just feel like oranges really look good on me. Probably look good on all of my sisters, okay? So that's something that's a staple you might want to have. And of course, to do our contouring, I used the Fenty Beauty, but I also went back in and used it on my eyelids, on the top of my eyelids in the crease line, just so that I can add some dimension because I'm not going to be wearing any shadow or anything like that. So this is pretty much just the face right here. This is what it is. So 
yeah that's what we use and of course to lock all of this in we are going to go in with our elf makeup mist and set i picked that up at target it's not really a mist y'all it's definitely a spray so elf y'all lied but it's getting the job done y'all know i don't really care for a spray i love more of a mist but it's cool the face is still gonna sit and say okay it's gonna do its thing now while we put on mascara we're gonna go over the last tip that i have for you guys and it is going to be to be clear in your intentions know what you want before you even get on the website if you are looking just for a little jump off you know expect to be given the jump offs because they are on there for sure they're all there they're waiting but if you're looking for something serious make sure you're reading these profiles and seeing if these boys are confused or if they want open relationships like do they want monogamy like what is it you know but first before you can even um tell somebody what you want you need to know what you want you know so write that down what are you looking for right now are you looking for just a friend someone that just wants to go out and you know just do things with or are you looking for an actual relationship get clear about what you want and your intentions and your dating expectations and you'll definitely find a lot but you might find what you need on there you know real quick you guys the lashes that we are going to go in with are royal silk by v lux i envy and these are just a soft natural finish on the lash these are the set duchess i think that is really cute you got these from the hair store definitely want to size the lashes on your eye okay y'all and we're not gonna do my ghetto combo today with the whole brown and black we just gonna go in with all black lip liner i don't know i think i'm the only girl that does not mind black lip liner Ooh. but for the lips we're gonna go in with fenty Uh, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'll be loving when I do this. My whole little 90s makeup look like what? Somebody tell me I look like I just listen to 90s R&B all day. And do. With a little bit of Tupac. <laughs> but you guys, this is the look right here, okay? Okay, this is it. So yeah, I definitely want to thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel, hanging out with me, doing makeup with me. I hope that you guys have found this video to be helpful, especially when it comes to dating online, choosing your platform, knowing what you want, you guys. This is our time, ladies. If you are dating, don't date to marry or do date to marry. Know your intentions, know what you're going for. But it's summertime. If you're like me, a single mom, you always got the kids and now you getting rid of the kids, it's time to date. Date, date, date. Date them all until you find the one. Until you find the one, okay? And that one will stand out. But take your time. Sometimes what you need is not on the dating website and sometimes what you need might just be on there. So it's up to you and God and up to what you are looking for. But anyways, like I said, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by my channel, kicking it with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing how I put together this makeup look. Y'all let me know if you guys um, need anything, okay? If y'all need anything to all 15 of my subscribers right now, y'all let me know if y'all need anything from the corner store, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. Anyways, you guys, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that little bell on the side. And until next time, maybe. Not he, not he texting. Just kidding. <laughs> and until next time, may peace and love be multiply. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. You bad like that, you.